Shalom. Call Halal Yim La Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, Akim, out there pushing and preaching in the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Also, I want to give honors to the Akwath out there listening and learning. You sincere Akwath. And to the scattered Israelites among these heathen nations that look just like these heathen nations, but go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. To you, I say Shalom. So this is going to be a, a lesson dealing with the scattered Israelite foreigners among these heathen nations. Because you got... You got demons out here, man, with this black only Israelites, uh, Latino only Israelites and all of these random whacked out doctrines are coming out of nowhere, man. You know, but the Lord, you know, he said, hey, he said that this was going to happen. There were going to be scoffers and mockers in the last days, man. You know, so like, let me check this. Uh, um, there's going to be scoffers and mockers in the last days, man. And, and the words of scoffers can go back to false teaching, you know? So uh, false doctrines coming out, coming out of the woodwork, you know? And, and we, you know, who follow great millstone from elder apostle to on down, we know that. It, there's no such thing as black only Israelites. We know that there's no such thing as Latino only Israelites. It's only uh hey, two thirds that's gonna get you know trapped up by that. You know, Lord willing, we're part of the elect. But uh what Job chapter I think it's twelve and sixteen, it says what the deceived and the deceived are his or the deceiver, the deceived and the deceiver are his. So if you get deceived by some random doctrines, hey, the Lord, you how about Shimmy I was shy, deceived you, man, you know, with a strong delusion. And that's why we have to continue to pray to you about Shimmy I was shy and, and, and ask the Lord, you how about Shimmy I was shy to, to not take his Holy Spirit from us, man, you know, because having the Holy Spirit is very precious, man. It's a gift. And, and not many have it, you know, but I want to get into this video. I got two videos of this, uh, this, um, so-called Japanese woman. Her name is Amy. And, uh, you can just tell, man, you know, I got the precepts lined up, but you can just, you can just look and, and tell like, yo, this, this not, no, this not, that's not Ammon, man. <laughs> you know, that's not Ammon. But I'm going I'm to play these videos. You know, Lord willing, it's edifying. I uh, pray that it's faith boosting also to you, uh, to you, you Israelite foreigners out there, you know, because hey, we're in a time of, of Israel rising, man. And you have to have faith in, in this gospel. You know, if, if this gospel resonates with you, you have to have faith in it, man. Because the Lord is 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 dealing with you, especially if you know His name, and you you are receiving the the right doctrine, the true doctrine. You know, you got to get on those highways and byways, man. Speaking to the men of 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 the Israel, you know. But here we go. <laughs> so, uh, Amy is on the right with the yellow um with that the, the yellow shirt on.
So there you have it. Um, I mean, hey, the other one could be a Jake too. She's kind of stiff, but you know, it's, you know, you, hey, you never know. But I know for sure this this Amy chick as an Israelite woman, bro, because you know it's she, it's, it's, Amy not dancing like that. <laughs> Want to save on avocados and other. The B girls. So this is uh, a. This Look is at the, the other bell. video. Let's go, ladies. As you you can probably tell by how she's dressed, who Amy is. They're both quite young, but they're both very active in the last couple of years, like really putting their names on the map. So it's good to see a final like this. Yeah. It'll set the benchmark for years to come here. Yeah, for sure. Seven credits on the floor. Representing Good Foot Crew. Japan! What? Still rocking the moves in the final. Careful, girl, you got three rounds. She makes it look easy. Makes me think I could do it. She is so fresh. Knowing full well, all respect to she her. She is so But that's part of the art. To make hard things look easy. This is a really good matchup. Oh! Shout out to Katsu one. Round two! Round two from San Andrea. See if she's got more of that power. Some of those handstands and players that she's been hitting hard. Yeah. Good is that they're not stressed. They look relaxed. They both seem to be having yeah. quite a bit of fun out here. That's super important. The answer! Second round for Bring the army. Still bringing the moves. Oh, yeah! Still bringing the combos. Still bringing the diversity. Shout out to Red Bull. Yes. On the camera work this year. <laughs> clean, very clean. Round three. Very Dustin close. off to show. Yeah. Last round. The final round in the first ever B Girl World Final here at BC1 in San Andrea. Let's see what she's got, if she can bring it home. There, you said? I'm going to say right now that both are moving very, very well. Like, there's been no drop in quality. And that's impressive. That'll do it for San Andrea as we go into Army's it's last round. The final round! <laughs> Super exciting, everyone. I hope you can understand. <laughs> it's the first time. The energy around the B-Girl competition this year has been dynamic. Yeah. To watch it happening firsthand, amazing. And right now, I have a good win, and I'm cool. They're both wow. Wow. so well. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, that was super impressive. Great final battle from the B girls. So I'm gonna leave it there. But as you can see, you can clearly see the the difference, right? Check this. The difference in in uh style, you know. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying just because she can dance, she's an Israelite, but 
The scriptures say otherwise. This is uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 16. It says, The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And Jake is known for doing, <laughs> you know, out of this world things, you know. We we take things to uh, um, a higher uh, level, you know. And... That's the, the way the Lord created us, man. The Lord created us to be different. You know, I'm going to grab that next. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 16. It says, the portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Shai of hosts, is his name. Right. We're all, we are the children of the most high, man. We are the rod of his inheritance. So the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, put us on a completely different level than all these other nations, man. You know? And he put a special spirit in, in Jacob. And, you know, Jacob had 12 sons and, and, his, and those sons also had children. And we became the nation of Israel, man. You know? So we have uh, that salt, man. The, the scriptures say we are the salt of the earth. You know, we bring that that flavor, you know, in everything, whether it be dancing, singing, you know, rapping, whatever it may be. We bring out that flavor, man. You know, um, grab this real quick. This is Deuteronomy chapter 14. I'll start at one. Uh Ye are the children of the Lord, Yahweh, your power. Ye shall not cut yourselves, nor make any baldness between your eyes for the dead. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord, Yahweh, thy power. And the Lord, Yahweh, have chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. And, and that's plain, man. You know, it even re uh, this is uh, reiterated from Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter. Right. When he said that um, we are in holy people unto the Lord. So multiple times the Lord has said that we were separated from from these other nations, man. We were we were. Um, uh, basically put in a category that no other nation was put in, you know? And because of the certain events that happened in the in the past, right, with King Solomon and, and all these different captivities that we've been in, we we end we ended up mingling with the heathen, you know? We we learned their works, you know, we we slept with their women, you know. And that and that alternatively brought that Israelite foreigner look, you know, we got, we got Israelites all over the world, man. You know, this is a uh, one precept. This is a uh, first Kings chapter 11, verse one. It says, but King Solomon loved many strange women together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Zidonians, and Hittites. So King Solomon had, all kind of different women, man. You know? Uh, verse 2, it says, Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall not go into them, neither shall they come in unto you. For surely they will turn away your heart after their gods. Solomon claved unto these in love, and he, Salak, and he had 700 wives, princesses, and 300 concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. So the sin wasn't to to sleep with those women, you know, or be with those women. The sin was being turned away from Yahweh Hashem Shai and serving their gods, you know. That was the main reason why the Lord did not want us to, to deal with the heathen because he knows what love is, man. He loves us. So, of course, you're going to you're going to know what what is going to happen to uh, a person if they end up dealing with somebody that's not of their own nation, man. You know, he's the Lord, man. He created this, 
you know? But he had all all kind of different women. You think Solomon wasn't putting his seed in, in those women? You didn't you don't think that Solomon had children with, with, with a lot of those women? You know? This is uh the book of Ezra, chapter nine, verse one. It says, Now when these things were done, the prince the princes came to me, saying, The people of Israel and the priest and the Levite and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Parasites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. It says, verse 2, For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons. So, that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Yeah, the hand of the princes and rulers have been chief in, in this chest pass. So you had princes of Israel, man, and priests dealing with the, uh, the heathen women, man. It says that they had taken their daughters for themselves and their sons, man. So what? Oh, yeah. We got this little Ammonite woman over here. You know, this is, I'm going to give this little Moabite woman to my son, you know? And, and Jake was, was, hey, you know, Jake, get it in, man. So you can't tell me that they didn't have children with those different women, man. And, and those children, you know, whether it be a son or a daughter, mainly a son, those sons had, um, also heathen women and then they start to look more like the heathen man that's why they are called israelite foreigners right and and i didn't grab this precept because i was going to line it up right this is um isaiah 16 and 4 it says let mine outcast dwell with thee moab be thou a covert to them from the face of the spoiler who is the spoiler the spoiler is esau man right because he hates us with a perpetual hatred. It says, For the executioner is at an end, the spoiler ceaseth, the oppressors are consumed out of the land. Right. So a hey, Moab was a, a, a is a covert for a lot of Israel, man. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of Jake over there, over there in China, thinking that they some gooks, man. You know? But the spirit bear witness. Um, now let me jump to Nehemiah. Uh, con. Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 23. It says, in those days also I saw Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab. And their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod and could not speak in the Jews' language. But according to the language of each people. Right. So you had in those days of Nehemiah, you had certain Jews, right? Israelites, um, Marian, Ashdod, Ammon, and Moab women, you know, and, and they weren't teaching their children the language of 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 uh, the Lashuan Kadash, the Hebrew. Right. But they, they learned the language of, of their heathen mothers. Right. So when uh just like when you had in the book of Acts, you had that multitude of of all those different people, you know, coming coming to hear the gospel, right? Believing in Yahweh Shai, right? Some of those people didn't speak the Lashuan Kodash until they received the Holy Spirit, man, and 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 uh, they started to speak in in tongues, right? Which is uh, the Hebrew. So we have we have people among. Uh, all these different nations, man, through all throughout the the entire course of of this season that we we have been living in, right? Ever since Adam, all the way up until now, because we're in the Book of Revelations, man. The Mark of the Beast is is uh at hand, man. You know this devil is is doing work to set up this uh cashless society to to um to get you 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 sheep. Led straight to the slaughter, man. You know, but we have we have um, many 
different Israelites among all of these different nations, man. You know, uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 12, verse nine. It says, my heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about her or round about are against her. Come ye assemble all the beasts of the field come to devour. Right. It says my, my heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. Right. And I want to grab that real quick. Just so you can get a visual. See, a speckled bird, different spots. It's not one color, man. You know, they have some green in there, some purple, you know, some yellow. Hey, man, the Lord is out cold with his, uh, his, his similitudes, man. You know, that's the that's a speckled bird, man. That's how Israel is. He said, my heritage is is. Is like unto uh, is unto me like a speckled bird, man. You know, look at this. That bird isn't one color. That bird isn't black, or or yellow. It got green in there. It look like it got some gold or orange. You know, some purple in there, and and that's how Israel is, man. To the Most High, but Yahweh Shimei Al Shai is gonna he's gonna give us that. That uh that Israelite look back when he when he beams us up in those chariots when he uh redeems us in the uh flesh right because he redeemed us in the spirit but now he's gonna redeem us physically man he's gonna give us those those perfect tabernacles man those those perfect bodies and we're gonna have that uh that rich melanin look right we're gonna look like the Most High man so. I just wanted to make that that video because it, it's it's a lot of confusion going on out here, brothers. You know, I would say stick stick to what you know. Let me get that before before I um before I go. But it's a lot of confusion going on out here, and you don't want to be listening to the wrong person, and then they trip you up. You know, this is a uh, Second Timothy. Chapter 3, verse 13, it says, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And that, and that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Hamashiach Yahushai. Right. So, hey, the scriptures say, unless a man be born again, right, he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. Right. We have, we have been born again. We have been made babes, right, in this faith. And, and we are being nurtured and, and being taught by the elders and apostles and all the Akim on down, man. And we have been assured that that there is Israelites among these other nations that look just like these heathen nations. Right. But go back to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And 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 they can also be saved if they have faith in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. So we have to remember that you can't. It's one dude that used to. Uh, um, I seen a video. I think it was. Um, I'm not sure who it was. Salakia. But basically, it's the, one of these dudes from uh, Adam Abbott, you know, and and back when I first before I came into the truth, you know, I, I used to um, I used to watch some of those videos, man. And I used to see him out there with 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 uh, with those with those people. And he he hey, he was standing right next to, uh, you know, lat, uh, so-called Latino men preaching uh, out the Holy Bible. And now he's sitting down with uh, Fopi talking about the Israelites are only black. So, hey, man, you know, you got to stay strong in this faith. You got to make sure you study. You got to make sure you uh, you stay focused on, on the, the true on that on the true doctrine, man, that that true wine. But um, that's pretty much it. 
With that, I want to say, call halal yum la yahawu ba'ashim yahushai, ba'ashim rakakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you Akim out there. Wa ababa ba, kwam yasharala.